Hello guys. How y'all doing? Uh this is God's good news for you today. And um I just wanna come on here and encourage y'all again about some things that always is going on in the world. You know. And then uh I just pray y'all aware of these things. And uh, that you uh, get yourself together. And right now I wanna get to this prayer. <clears throat> Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, Father God, and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us, guide us, guard us, and protect us throughout this day, Lord. And let you speak through me, Father God, to speak to these people about the things that's going on in the world and about the truth that they need to hear. So I pray that the Holy Spirit will have His way. And I pray that... Uh, I decrease and you increase, Father God. And uh, you speak to me, Father, in order to speak to them, Lord. But also just to give them an encouragement and things that's going on in the world today. And I thank you for listening to my prayer. Amen. So, uh, just uh, staying encouraged and uh, keeping your eyes open uh, about um, certain things that's going on in the world. Well, right now, as you can see, everything that's, uh, that's going on is uh, it's out of hand. I'm going to be honest with you. So y'all need to prepare yourselves. But be not afraid. But prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves for yet what is to come. With all the wickedness that's coming up upon this earth right now, we pray against that. In the name of Jesus Christ. The things, all the, the abominations and um, all the wickedness, and as you can see right now, the Bible is playing out, guys. The Bible is playing out. And it's the thing. <clears throat> they didn't want you to know that the Bible was real. A lot of people spoke about that Bible as if it was fiction or if it was fake. And at one point in time before I started believing, I knew that some of it was kind of uh, a little fiction, but then fake. But after I'd read it and got into it and just really got into it every day, all day, every day, every day, no. It was all alive the enemy. He twists and turns things like he usually do. So, what was happening is, it's real. Everything that was spoken in that Bible, the Old Testament, not the New Testament, it's coming true. You see, with the New Testament, man did what he wanted to do with it. With the Old Testament, it comes from the Word. And the Word is God. It came directly from God. Okay? That Bible is the key to a lot of things that these people don't want to tell you about. Okay? is actually the key to the world. Um, 
right now it's too late for people to even really just kind of like think about these things right now because Jesus is God. The king of all kings of all kings is coming. Okay? So, as you can see, as you can get ready, as you can see, being prepared. A lot of people think it's just going to be, um, you know, um, with the, with the, uh, with the, um, army guys being up in there and everything, you know, but they don't even know that, um, these things that's taking place is that Jesus is coming, okay? And they don't want to tell you this and they don't want you to know this because Jesus is God. He's supernatural, all power, Okay? And that's why they try to uproot him out of the earth. All right, they didn't want him here. But how could you not want the all creator who made this world? Him and him and the Father. Who made this world? Who makes sure that everything operates accordingly to plan in the universe and the stars, the planets. The earth. He they made the earth. He made the earth. <laughs> so how could you tell? It's his earth. <laughs> so how could you tell him <laughs> that you don't want him on his earth? <laughs> on something that he built. It's ironic. But those are the thoughts of man. Ignorance reprobate mind foolishness you see man is not in charge the wicked one is not in charge God is Jesus and God is in charge you understand don't let nobody tell you so anything that you see that's going on right now don't be afraid. Don't be um, frightened about the things you see. Okay? True enough, you might see him trying to form. They're not going to prosper. So God and Jesus say no. It's a no. I'm telling you. People have to understand. The Lord is in control. <laughs> the Lord is in control okay so well, what's going on right now like I told you you see in the battle it took place in the spiritual realm and it's taking place in the natural but I don't want to speak upon those things but to come think about it Y'all are about to see some things unfold in this world that you, your mind is going to blow your mind. And I mean it's going to blow your mind. You, gonna, you ain't going to know what to do. You're actually going to be appalled about what's about to take place. Lord Jesus is the key to your salvation, to your lives, to your livelihoods, and to your souls. They made your souls. Okay? Him and God made your soul, created your spirit to go inside of man. And for man to try and turn around and come against God is a direct disrespect. Father sad enough. He's uh he's tired at this moment. He didn't want to do this to these things. That's why he asked you, that's why he sent to do so many prophets to warn people, to tell people all you had to do was get down, bow down on your knees. 
repent and ask for forgiveness. If it would have been, if it would have took a, a hundred thousand uh, 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 people in America, or two hundred thousand people in America, or even at the White House, at the at the um, the, I mean I don't mean to call the name. Sorry about that. They might blabbing my stuff out. But even at that that house. If a hundred or two hundred thousand people or something like that would have just bowed down and just asked for repentance and forgiveness and turned from their wicked ways, he would save this country. He would save this country. He would save this nation. He would save the things that they need. You know, he would save everything you know but he, he he just you know but the, some things he can't say because even with him not wanting to judge even with jesus not wanting to judge the word still has to go through because it's prophecy his word will not turn back to him void you understand <clears throat> sorry about that his word, his his word would not turn to him. Boy. So what he's spoken, way before ahead of time, God is brilliant. Jesus is brilliant. The Amen. Way before time, predictions, many and thousands and thousands of years ahead of time. Come on, how could you come up against something like that? You can't. He knows your every move, your every make. Before you even was born, he knew you. Before you was formed in the womb, he said. You know, which he was. But, it's the thing. Yo, Avery! Hey! Hey, babe! You have to be humble and a quiet spirit to know him. You had to be meek. You had to be so humble and you had to love him so much. It, it, it takes a lot. But to actually walk with Jesus and God, it's a, it's an honor. And it's a, it's a blessing. It is a blessing. So, Right now, guys, I just want to encourage y'all and tell y'all to keep your heads up high out there. Pray, worship, pray and worship change things. You know that. So get to praying, get to worshiping, and, and, and just just pray for family members. Pray for uh, pray for your, your 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 country right now. Pray that these wicked ones um will turn back and, and uh, <clears throat> give thanks to God. And would we'll, and we'll ask for forgiveness from God. Ask them to turn back. Pray for them to turn back. But also at the same time, don't get yourself too much involved in it. Because, don't forget, God is judging. Okay? So you send your little prayer out or whatever, but leave it alone at that. Alright? Because, don't get in the way of his hand. That's the last place I want to be is in his is missed okay so uh don't pray ask him what you want him to pray for you know but pray for the people of this world you know uh, pray for people to come to him and get saved at this moment in time pray for um pray for your forgiveness your 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 repentance pray for um everything that you need at this moment in time pray for it all right now Cause right now is uh things are things are getting hectic, guys. And uh, before they get out of line, let's pray for some things for it not to get hectic. All right. So I just want to come over here and encourage you and uh, let you know some things. Give thanks to Lord Jesus if you if you don't have Lord Jesus in your life. I pray that you come to Lord Jesus and. Ask and repent and ask for forgiveness 
Turn back from your wicked ways right now at this moment in time. Not in this hour, but in these seconds. And ask him for forgiveness of your sins. To be saved and to want to get into heaven. Okay? This is rip. Alright? So I thank y'all for listening to this message. This is God's good news for you today. And y'all be blessed.